<clears throat> all right, Shalom Makiyam out there. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles like Great Millstone who taught me this word. Watch Shalom to all you bells out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, back at another lesson. GMF strive to be saved, coming in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. All right, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, so as you bells can see, that, um, the title of this lesson or the topic is going to be um, we came to, uh, you know, basically teach the fear of the Lord, man. <clears throat> All right, because that's what the Lord is looking for. All right. In these times, man, he's looking for men that fear and, and tremble at his word, man. OK, and that's, you know, when we out there, when we teaching and we prophesying. OK, we going through the scriptures, man. All right. We're, we're putting the fear of the Lord. Okay, on, on the elect, man, because the elect is the only one that's going to fear, man. Okay, all these other people that they, they threw, all right, and they're going to they gonna perish because they didn't fear, all right, the creators of the heavens and the earth, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? <clears throat> so, Lord willing, you know, I'm going to go through some scriptures and, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying unto you brothers and you few sisters out there. All right, so first, let's start with... um. That scripture I just quoted, man. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go from here to uh, let's open another uh, blue letter, and then let's go to um, Isaiah sixty-six. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is Isaiah chapter sixty-six, verse five. It says, "Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at His word." Um. Dang, is this the uh, is this the one? Uh, let's see. What is this? Yeah, yeah. Verse two. But that, but that's you know, that's um, a, you know, a good one too, because it's going in the same thing. That that tremble at his word, you know, and that's that's what us brothers do, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? We 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 fear the Lord, man. You know, we we scared when we when. We read the scriptures and, you know, we read about, you know, the missiles, the destruction. OK. And, and you know, the judgment for wicked men and women. OK. And we see it out here, man. You know, we see the judgment that's out here, man. And, and the Lord don't care if you a child. Lord don't care if you a old man. You know, today in the news, um, it was a, a 14 year old uh, boy, you know, what, you know, according to the scriptures, you know, you man at 12. <clears throat> but you know in this world they would consider that you know uh, a, a child you know but that's just really a young man you know he was at a uh an amusement park okay i believe it was in florida um you know and um he fell he fell from 30 feet man you know and, and uh you know he back with the father right now you know and it was on video and it was it, you know it's scary as hell man you know what i mean and that's that's the type of judgment that's going to ha happen to all these wicked people, man, out here, man. You know, and you may say, well, what did he do? He was only 14. Well, hey, look, <clears throat> once you once you hit past 12 year old, 12 years old, you're accountable for your sins. And also. All right. It's a such thing as reincarnation. So we don't know what he did in his past life. All right. He paying it for his sins in his past life, you know. But it's a it's a scary thing, man. All right. <clears throat> But let's uh, let's go here. Isaiah 66 and um, two, it says, for all those things have my hand made and all those things have been saith the Lord. All right. But to, but to this man will I look. All right. So the Lord is saying this man is he's looking upon this type of man. OK, this type of man I'm dealing with. OK, I'm going to reveal my spirit unto I'm going to uh, increase him. OK, I'm going uh, to I'm going to bless him. Right. <clears throat> But to this man will I look, even to him that is of a poor and contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Okay, poor and contrite spirit. Contrite, uh, meaning. Matter of fact, let's look up this word contrite, man. You know, let's see what um, let's see what it says just on Google. You know, or duck go go. <laughs> you know, it says um contrite, feeling regret and sorrow. For one's sins or offenses, all right, and that's and that's all the brothers who came into this faith, man. All right, we we felt sorry, all right, um, you know that godly sorrow, 
okay, for, for the sins that we committed, man, you know, even to this day, man, you know, we ask the Lord to have mercy upon us, man, you know, and, and, you know, that, that keeps us humble, man, you know, arising from expression of contrition, okay, um, it says contrition in, in Christianity, contrition or contriteness is repentance for sins one has committed. All right. Because we, we're in a constant state of repenting, man. OK, so that's the type of man the, the, the Lord is looking to, man. The ones who the ones who's contrite, you know, all right? you know, and, and, and really trying to um, make things right with his power, man. You know, fervently praying and, you know, trying to just stay right, man. OK. <clears throat> That's the type of man the Lord looking to. It says, but to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Okay, that's a man who's who fears Yahweh Bashimi I was shy, man. Okay? He gonna think about <clears throat> what he what he do before he do it, man. Okay. You know? His his thoughts is 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 um you know filtered by by the by the lord's word okay you know so that's the type of man the lord looking to all right the one who's feared man okay and that's what we came to teach the fear of yahweh by shimmy i was shy so let's go here to psalms 34 and i started uh verse 8 it says oh taste and see that the lord is good blesses the man that trusteth in him right because the lord is good man all right you want if you on the lord team you you gonna have that protection Okay. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. Right. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want anything. All right, because the Lord gonna keep you um sustained, man. Okay? He gonna he gonna keep you afloat, man. You know, you may go through your uh your financial uh, you know woes so to speak okay but the lord always gonna have a roof over your head he always gonna you know have food on the table you know what i mean none of the none of the lord's men are are out there you know begging for bread okay all right the lord said he's he he's not um he won't do that to one of his okay it says uh verse 11 come ye children hearken unto me I will teach you the fear of the Lord. And that's what we out there doing. Teaching the fear of the Lord, man. And that's something our people do not have, man. Okay? They don't they don't fear the Lord, man. You know, and that's why they don't know him. You know? Let's let's go to um Proverbs 1 and 7, you know? Cuz that's, you know, that's how you start to turn unto the heavenly Father. Why Yahweh shy, man? Okay, Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh shy. Okay, is is through that fear. Proverbs one and seven: the fear of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh shy is the beginning of knowledge. All right, it's the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of you uh, knowing who you are. All right, coming back to this wonderful heritage. Okay, changing your ways. You know what I mean? It all it all starts with that fear. Okay. With that fear, uh, you know, comes faith. All right. You starting to, you know, build your faith. OK. And you starting to see everything that the Lord is doing for you. I'm like, man, the Lord is working, man. You know. But fools despise wisdom and instruction that the fool is going to fight, despise the Lord's wisdom and his instruction. Or right? a fool is going to say, OK, you can have sex on the Sabbath and, you know, you could do what you want to do, you know. You despise destruction and wisdom, man. Okay? There's no there's no fear in you, man. All right? Let's go back, man. Psalms 34 and 11. Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Right? And that's that's everybody, man. Who who doesn't want to live a long life? All right. <clears throat> who, who doesn't want to have many days and see good in those days? You know, I remember I was talking to this Jake, um, you know, and um, he was basically telling me like, yeah, man, you know, I want to I want to live forever. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had said uh, I had 
quoted this, you know, like this little Drake thing, you know, uh, where he was like, uh, more life. I think Drake, he got like a mixtape. It's called more life. And he was like, yeah, man, I feel that man, you know, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I, I want to live forever. I want to live a long time. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what he was telling me. <clears throat> so, you know, that's just an example of Jake, Jake desiring that life. Okay. Living many days. Okay. That he may see good, you know? And that and that's all Jake, you know, deep down. They they want to have that long life, you know, and and <clears throat> you know, see good. It says, um, keep thy tongue from evil evil and thy lips from speaking guile, okay? Keep your tongue from evil, okay. What's what's um evil? All right, speaking these other doctrines, man. Okay, saying saying an Edomite can make it in the kingdom of heaven and be saved, that's evil man you know saying that um homosexuality is okay that's evil okay and thy lips from speaking god depart from evil and do good all right depart from evil and do good and this and this it all, it all goes back to fear in the lord because because you on, you're only going to depart from evil and do good if you, if you have that fear within you you know what i mean seek peace and pursue it all right, just like Job, man. All right, Job. Um, let's get that real quick. Job. It said he feared the Most High and eschewed evil. Right. This is Job one and one. It says there was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright, one that feared Yahweh Bashimia was shy and eschewed evil. All right. So it said he feared Yahweh Bashimia was shy and eschewed evil. Let's see what this word eschewed mean. All right. It says to avoid using, accepting, participating in, partaking of. Right. So Job, he was he was shunning. He was avoiding evil. You know, he seen evil like, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that, man. You know, a lot of Jake, they 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 put themselves in situations. All right. What where, where they where they uh, could possibly fuck up. If you know that you. Um, you know, weak in a certain area. Don't put yourself in that in that area, man. All right, the scriptures speak about an apocrypha, right? Um, about not stumbling at the stones. All right, uh, put not in that way. Go not in a way that thou mayest fall. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. Okay, to evade. You know what I mean? If you if you go into a party, all right, and it ain't nothing but fucking married women there. You know, and they husbands ain't even there. All right, you already know what's going to happen there, man. Okay? Why even be there? To, it, you know, it be tempted to do evil. You know what I mean? These are the type of things, um, you know, nowadays what would be considered as a shoe and evil. Like, nah, I ain't fucking with that, man. Hell nah. You know what I mean? A shoe and evil. Because that's that, that's, that goes back to that fear, man. Okay? Cause the Lord is going to destroy this place and it's going to, he going to destroy all the wicked. All right. And you see, you see the judgment, right? Man, so much judgment ringing out, man. You know, people just dying, like find, find this final destination type of deaths. Like, damn, did you see the way that motherfucker went out? Like, damn, it was this one video the brother sent out in the chat, dude. You know, I guess he was a truck driver. He opened up his, you know, the back, you know, the bin or whatever you call it, the door. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, he was standing there. I guess he was getting something. And, you know, a, a gust of wind blew the door that he that he opened. And, and, man, that dude is dead. He either dead or he fucked up, man. You know, it, it swung so hard, you know, it hit him in the head and he was through. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and that was, that was an angel who did that, man. You know, and had it on video, too. You know? So it's a, it's a fearful thing, man. You know. <clears throat> so um, from there, um, yeah, we could keep going on this, but let's let's get Second Corinthians five, right? Second Corinthians five and uh, ten. Okay. It says, "For we all must appear, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, 
that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to he have done, whether it be good or bad. All right. And that <clears throat> that alone right there should put fear in you. <clears throat> Everybody is going to have to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. It's going to be a judgment seat for everybody, you know, and it's going to be good rewards and it's going to be uh, bad rewards. OK, but everybody going to appear before the judgment seat. We all going to meet our maker. You know what I mean? Lord willing, you know, the Lord is is pleased, okay, with us, man. You know, that's why we do what we do. That's why it's important to fear, man. Because, hey, we all going to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, okay? Verse 11 <clears throat> says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. So we know the terror of the Lord. We know scriptures like that. We all must appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. When you think about that, man, that's, that's crucial as hell. Because what you going to say, you can't say nothing, <laughs> you know, because your life is going to be a testimony or um, it's going to testify against you. You know what I'm saying? So you can't say nothing. What you going to lie? Like, nah, Lord, nah, that wasn't me. <laughs> but wait a minute. The Lord could pull up your life in a projection right there. Like, remember this? You know, and you don't even remember. Like, oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, man, it's heavy, man. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade, man, so we persuading you, look, man, get, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself together. The Lord is on his way to destroy this place, you know what I mean? And 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 continue to stay right, you know, till the Lord return, you know, because it's an evil ass world. All right. We persuade men, knowing, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, you know? So, yeah, man, it's about that fear, man. You know, and having that healthy fear of Yahweh Shemel Shai take you a long way, you know, and staying humble as well. Um, verse 15, back in Psalms 34 and 15, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that that do evil all right to cut them off from the remembrance of the earth right so the face of the lord is against you if you if you're doing evil man you know to cut them off from the remembrance of the earth and you know that's talking about esau okay because because he the one that's gonna be wiped off he gonna be annihilated man okay it says the righteous cry and the lord heareth and deliver them out of all their troubles and you know we got jacob's trouble approaching Okay, the beginning of sorrows approaching. All right. Joe Biden just got on the news. All right. And he he's speaking about how it's a um it's a food shortage. All right. And it's real. You know, I believe that was those was his exact words, man. You know, let me see if we'll pull a uh, quick clip quick clip of that. Um. So talk about food shortages, and uh, and it's going to be real. The, the price of these. Hey, 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 that was a spirit. It, it said four, four, four right there. It just switched, you know. That's a spirit, you know. But you heard what the dude, you know, this dude said. He said food shortage and it's real. All right, very real, man. <clears throat> the price of these sanctions is not just imposed upon Russia. It's imposed upon an awful lot of countries as well, including European countries and our country as well. And uh, because both uh, Russia and Ukraine have been the breadbasket of Europe in terms of wheat, for example, just to give you one example. But <clears throat> we had a long discussion uh, in the G7 with uh, um, the uh, with both uh, the United States, which has a, as a significant, the third largest producer. Of that was pretty much the point, brothers. You know, because all that is just, you know, smoke and mirrors. It's, you know, this this famine that's coming, it's, it's a manufactured famine, man. You know what I mean? This is something that they doing. Or it's really the Lord is doing it, man. You know? Because <clears throat> it's prophecy that it has to happen. Let's get that one part where he said it's real, man. With regard to food shortage, yes, we did re re talk about food shortages. And, uh, and it's going to be real. The, the 
See? All right? The, the devil said it for you, man. You know, for you Jakes who don't who don't listen to the Lord's men, there go the devil saying it for you, man. Okay? <clears throat> Going back to Psalms 34 and 18, the Lord is nigh unto them. Uh, well, I was in 17. It says, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles, man. All right, and that's who we, tr you know, we trying to be on that side, man. Okay? The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. All right. And saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. See, and we, we, we went into that earlier, man. OK, that contrite spirit to this man will I look that that who is of a poor and contrite spirit and that trembleth at my word, man. All right. So we're teaching you to fear of the Lord, man. All right. So we you could be saved in these end times, man. All right. We're going to keep speaking about it, too, man. It says um, <clears throat> many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. All right. Because, you, you know, we got a lot of uh, people who hate us, man. Okay. Just because, uh, you know, our, our works, you know, just like Cain and Abel, man. It say Cain hated Abel or he slew Abel because his works was righteous. <laughs> you know all right so it says they that hate the righteous shall be desolate man the lord redeemeth the soul of his servants and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate man all right and these scriptures should make you feel good man they make me feeling good right now hey call out yabashi mount shy man lord willing we're part of that number man okay you know but that was that was pretty much the point, you know, in the lesson, you know, we came to teach the fear of the Lord, man. OK, we could read that verse 11 again and, you know, close him out. Psalms 34 and 11, it says, come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, man. All right. So, yeah, brothers. All right. And a few sisters out there. Hey, stay fearing the Lord. All right. Keep, you know, stay praying. Keep reading. All right. Stay nigh unto these waters, man. OK almost out of here man all right and that's you know that's the hope all right that's our faith all right until yahweh shah returns man all right and lord willing may he be with us in the time of trouble you know because hey what else are you gonna believe in in this in this place man ain't nothing here man okay so yeah you know i want to um Close it out by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or All right, want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this word. Washallah, I'm to all you brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Stay up, brothers. Shalom.